Module one, week one looks like this. Kneeling for the glutes and hamstrings. Sitting for the transverse abdominus. Single legged eyes closed balance for the feet, ankles and hips. Lying on our bellies to strengthen our spine and neck. And planks for shoulder stability. Firstly, you want to safely get to kneeling on the ball using something like a table, a window ledge or the back of a sofa. And in your own time, when you're feeling safe, slowly release the hands. Now for session one, we're going to be kneeling for seven minutes. For the first three or four minutes though, I want you to just explore between slightly hinged over like this or up right and vertical like this. However, if this is too hard to begin, just stay on the ball on all fours until you feel confident enough to let go with your hands. What we're after here is to find the shakes. You could feel it in your hamstrings, inner thighs, or your calves. And to coincide with that, we're also trying to feel our glutes actively holding us in the position. Although in the beginning, you might feel this in your quads. At around the halfway mark or shortly after, if your knees are up for it, then we can move slowly into this Caesar position where the knees are bent. And from here, we want to drive down slowly but firmly into the shins to a standing back up in tall kneeling position. And we slowly move back and forth through this position. Sometimes the knees will start to fall really far forward. Do your best to fight this and get back up into standing kneeling position. Total time spent kneeling should be no more than seven minutes. But if you feel done before that, it's okay to get up and move on to the next exercise. After taking a short break if you need it, next we're going to sit on the ball. Once again, the total maximum time we're aiming to spend here is no more than seven minutes. To make it easier in the beginning, you can grip the balls with your heels if you want to like this. Otherwise, just let the legs dangle like this. For at least the first three or four minutes, you want to spend your time just seated here, holding this position in balance with good posture and spine straight. Two small tweaks here that can make a big difference to how we feel it in the body or if the legs are in external rotation and the knees pointed out, or if we pin the knees together and squeeze the inner thighs, I'd encourage you to explore both of these options. Another good explorative position I found was to move the butt backwards, but sort of pike and fold forward over the thighs without forcing the legs to go straight, but reaching as far forward as you can. I find some good shakes here. Then sometime after halfway with a few minutes left, we can start to put our hands behind us and start to tilt the upper body back and lift the legs into the air. You could even go full boat pose like this. And for the last minute, I'd like you to begin exploring this fully reclined position. Now in the beginning it may be frustrating and you may have to touch down every few seconds, but just be patient and within a week or two, you'll be much improved. This is really gonna strengthen our core, but not in a compressive way that just doing sit-ups does. This is in a functional way that just strengthens its ability to act as a belt or a corset around our midriff. And next, we've got the single leg balance. I just want you to stand on one leg with the foot pointing straight and close your eyes for two minutes per leg. This is going to strengthen the foot, stabilize the ankle, work the hip flexors, and I'm pretty sure you feel it in the glute too. After that, we're gonna get back on the ball, but this time on our belly for three minutes. When you begin this, you're gonna to want to hang as much as possible, both the feet and the hands, and you can use your fingertips or your toes just to find the balance point. You want to exhale all the air out of your belly and try to breathe into the back of your rib cage. This works as a really good stomach massage, as well as giving us a chance to practice breathing into other areas of our lungs. A baby spends a lot of their time on their stomach, and yet they're still able to breathe very comfortably because they can use the full capacity of the lungs using the back of the ribs. As you get better and more confident in this position, you really want to start to use your glutes to pull the legs up, and as well as that, you use your glutes to anchor in as you start to lift the chest. This is really going to help improve our posture, strengthen our spine and neck from the back, and teach us to anchor in and use the glutes as the central pin of the upper and lower body. And finally, to finish, we've got our plank series to help strengthen and stabilize our shoulders and their relationship to the rib cage. If you don't have any major shoulder issues and feel strong enough, I want you to always focus on one shoulder at a time. Putting the ball on your knees, we're gonna set up on plank and then choose one shoulder to start. Then there are three positions we're gonna go through. You're gonna go front on, side on and back on. If any of this is too intense, however, I'd encourage you just to play with single arm planks on the floor to begin. While you're there, explore all the ranges of your shoulder and remember what we're here to do. We're here to try to find shakes. No matter how subtle these shakes may be, as long as you feel it happening, then there's progress being made. Additionally, I really like this reverse push-up variation where you drive the elbows back and down into the floor. I find some really nice subtle shakes in my scapulas. 
and you can vary it between pulling the shoulders back and down or driving the shoulders forward and tucking the ribs. Here's one to try only if you feel safe to do so to open up range of motion behind our back. And the final variation for the shoulders I want to offer with the Swiss ball is to put both of our elbows together close to our belly button and lie on the ball on our front and then start to drive away the elbows from the stomach. The smaller the gap between the elbows and the stomach, the harder this is. And you can explore between holding a position and doing repetitions like push-ups. Now it's your turn to give it a go. Godspeed. <laughs>